Kelly is an addict and she cannot stop. I can't keep doing this. She gets clean for a minute and she goes right back out. Kelly's drug of choice is heroin. I'm using heroin every day. As soon as I wake up, I have to get high. Kelly drinks, does heroin, takes Xanax, she smokes pot. For Kelly, it's normal, but for me, it's very shocking. In high school, Kelly was always the prettiest girl. Everybody loved her. I had no idea Kelly was using drugs until three or four years later. When Kelly was 17, I got a phone call from the school. They said, your daughter has been taking pills and drinking alcohol. You need to take her to the hospital and they may need to pump her stomach. I've overdosed eight times at least that I remember. I have track marks from veins blowing out. Kelly always tells me, you'll never understand. To me, I'm just like, why can't you just stop right now? And she'll tell me, I want to, I want to. Kelly has been abused, raped, kidnapped. She's been held against her will. I believe Kelly has addiction because of buried secrets she has about her father. I think Kelly's gonna die before we know it. Kelly needs to come clean with her traumas to get clean. Dr. Phil has to know how bad it is to, to know how he can help me. How's anybody gonna help me if they don't know what the real problem is? I've been struggling with addiction since I was eight years old. I began to see my dad again. I saw that he was drinking, smoking pot, so I started stealing his pot and experimenting with pot and alcohol. 12 years old is the first time I ever shot anything into my veins. This is where it stops tonight, but where does it stop tomorrow? My mom never really suspected anything. I was always either at some kind of practice or with a friend, quote unquote, studying. Growing up in two different environments, I used drugs to kind of escape that pain of how bad they hated each other. Over at my dad's, he would get so drunk and stoned that he couldn't deal with me. When my mom couldn't handle me in my anger, she would send me away to mental institutions. It wasn't hard for me to go straight to the heroin. That was the drug that I, that was for me. In my 20s, I was sex trafficked. I almost died from sepsis uh, twice. One time, my mom had taken me to the hospital. She had gone to get lunch, and when she came back, I was dead on the table. The doctors brought me back to life. I mean, like, uh, what mom wants to watch her child die on the table. Dr. Phil is my last hope. I either take his advice or I die. Have a seat. Well, Kelly, how are you feeling today? I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I'm a little nervous. I'm surprised, but super grateful I'm here. Tell me about your pattern of heroin use in the last couple of weeks. Um, the last couple of weeks, I've actually been in a detox facility. Um, as soon as I got out, the day I got out, I was uh, shooting heroin again. Um, so, I mean, before that, um, before the detox facility, I actually um, overdosed within twice within five days of each other. What happened? Uh, the paramedics came in and they had to uh, Narcan me twice um, because I wasn't waking up from the first dose. And where so, were you? Uh, it was it was like an abandoned tire shop that I was in. How did they find you? I have no idea. I mean, I woke up to the paramedics. I I mean, I guess the guy that I was with had called 911. That was the first time. And that was the first time. And, and then, then five need... days later, I overdosed again. Okay, so twice in five days, you, uh, you, you shot up enough heroin to kill you if someone hadn't intervened. Correct. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.